Hello friends, today we are going to learn inheritance and what are the different types of inheritance. First we will start with the concept. Inheritance is a process by which the object of one class acquire the property of another class. It supports the concepts of hierarchical classification. In object oriented programming, the concept of inheritance provides the idea of reusability. This means that we can add additional features to an existing class without modifying it. This is the possible by deriving a new class from the existing one. The new class will have the com combined feature of both the class. Subclass defines only those features that are unique to it. Now we can see the example of bird which further divided into flying bird and non-flying bird and individual flying birds are also divided into two some other examples that is robin and swallow and non-flying bird is penguin and kiwi. That is the main base class is divided into two derived class that is flying bird and non-flying bird and flying bird divided into robin and swallow and non-flying bird divided into penguin and kiwi. So this derived class get all the features of its base class that is bird. Base and derived class. Before we will work on it, I will give you a small introduction about base class and derived class. Inheritance is the process of creating new class using existing class. Existing class is called as a base class and new class which is created using the feature of base class are called derived class. Derived class has its own features and include all the feature of its base class in it. And here we have written a base class is previously defined class that is used to define a new class. And a derived class can be defined by specifying its relationship with the base class in addition to its own detail. The private member are not inherited and therefore the private member of base class will never become the member of its derived class. Private member are accessed indirectly by protected and public member function of base class. The general syntax of derived class is class derived class name visibility mode and base class name. Visibility mode provides whether it is private, public or protected and base class name defines from which class we are going to access its features. Colon indicate that derived class name is derived from the base class name. Visibility mode as I explain you private, public or protected but by default it is private. Use of visibility mode, public, private and protected, public, if the access specifier of the member of the base class is not required to be altered, private, if the member of the base class are not required to be further inherited and protected if the member of the base class are to be hidden outside the class but can be further inherited. Now we will work on a table. I will give you one example of private public base class specifier and derived class visibility mode. By this example you will understand whole table. If the access specifier of base class 
member is private and it is inherited publicly then private member of base class cannot be inherited into the derived class same thing if the access specifier of the base class member is public and it's inherited publicly then the public member of base class will be publicly derived into its derived class same thing will work for private and protected and protected as well we have divided inheritance into five types first is single level inheritance second multiple inheritance third is hierarchical inheritance fourth is multi level inheritance and fifth one is a hybrid inheritance about this inheritance we are going to learn in our next video thank you